this is what I love the dials you want to have a look at that again have a look beauty let's get this started let's get moving on this classic motorcycle that I really want to ride hard and have fun on today oh ho 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 too many speed breakers here good morning guys we are on the plain open stretches of road and this is where I really want to experience riding this PSA Gold Star 650 what a beautiful chilly morning here in Delhi NCR the sun the haze the typical Delhi weather that you expect at this time of the year machine rides we'll be first going towards Jaywal testing this machine out on the open wide open Yamuna Expressway have a copy at Starbucks and uh, I'll have a couple of more folks who will be joining me on this ride we'll have your Beer and Vishwas Vishwas will be riding his Super Meteor 650 the Ari Twin which is kind of similarly priced as the PSA Gold Star single cylinder 650cc machine that I am riding today. We take turns, ride this machine and see how things go. And after we ride this motorcycle back to back, we will kind of share our thoughts with you about what we feel about this machine. What a beautiful setting. The sun on my right and the lovely weather with the Gold Star. 650 chugging along in a rather energetic manner this is not a lazy sad cruiser this is a motorcycle that is very peppy and that is something which makes it really enjoyable I don't know why I went on this side of the road. The road was blocked on the other side. Greater Noida me to ye hota hi rehta hai. What I'm doing right now is just doing a free ride before I meet these guys at the start of the Yamuna Expressway. And just wanted to warm up the engine. This beauty looks amazing 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 <laughs> wow that's my initial impression after riding this machine wow I never expected this machine to be so smooth for a single when I say smooth you have to put things in context guys you just don't have to think of smoothness uh, as in what you would expect from a triple cylinder or a inline four or even a twin for a single this is ultra smooth has that perfect perfect character of a single cylinder where there are those simple characteristic wipes that you expect from a large capacity single cylinder these wipes are nothing that will create a problem while riding this motorcycle and in fact these are also not very noticeable as well but if you come with a mindset of expecting the smoothness of a twin then i think you are setting wrong expectations 
One question that I am hearing a lot from the folks who are talking about the BSA Gold Star 650 is why would I buy this motorcycle because it's kind of the same price segment as the Interceptor 650. I'd rather buy that. But my answer to that will be yes, the pricing is a little on the higher side. But at the same time, the experience that you get on this machine, on the single 650cc heritage classic retro modern machine that the BSA Gold Star is, is very different from what you get on an interceptor. First of all, when you ride an interceptor, you will feel the weight of the machine. That is around 213 kgs. This is around 201 kg. So clearly a 12 kg difference which is very very evident when you try and maneuver both these machines this one feels a lot more lighter in terms of being a daily driver it just goes and there is a point that comes in every motorcyclist's life where you kind of experience all the different types of machines the singles the twins the triples the inline folds and then in line with Maslow's hierarchy you get to the top end the state of self-actualization and that is where you realize that you miss the charm of a single the pure feeling of riding a single cylinder motorcycle and that is exactly the type of vibes you will get on the BSA Gold Star 650 talking about comparisons if you have to compare this the largest single cylinder 650cc motorcycle to any motorcycle right now in India maybe compare it to the classic 500 and that is when you will realize the smoothness that I'm talking about how evident that is while you're riding this beautiful PSA Gold Star 650 it doesn't bother you at those top speeds it doesn't bother you at those high RPMs. If I were to take this motorcycle and ride all day long, I will not feel irritated on the highways. That's the biggest takeaway that I can share with you about this beauty. See how this is going. Wow. Oh, this feel of riding calmly. The part where this machine really gives you all those vibes that I'm talking about of relaxed cruising is this 80 kmph 3100 3200 rpm and this is the vibe that you want to get from your machine if you are really into those relaxed rides that you want to do on a retro classic machine what a beautiful day this is lovely another thing to note about this machine is the top spec Brembo brake calipers that are on offer I don't see any motorcycle having that sort of an equipment especially in terms of the brake calipers in this price segment what we see is that Indianized version of Brembo dry brake whatever you call it Vibray that is what you get in all the machines but this one with the Brembo brake calipers the braking is very precise for a machine of this segment and of this category this is the idle RPM about 1200 1300 one interesting thing that you will see on the Gold Star 650 is the design of these twin pod cluster. Very interesting, huh? Why? Because you see the resting position of these needles. Let me just switch it off. The resting positions of these needles on the pods is, while it is at zero, it's at the 2 p.m. position, this one, starting from the top. And they move like this in the clockwise direction. When you switch it on, you see this? Oh. This is so beautiful. This is the charm that you miss when you get used to those digital large TFT displays. When you switch this machine on, 
there is a certain amount of smoothness that you feel you do not feel that mechanical clatter that makes the riding experience crappy when you ride those certain 350s and 500s without taking those names but this one feels so much more refined the third part that you see here that small circle tile there kind of shows the abs light and the neutral sign once you put it in the first gear and get moving everything vanishes away it's kind of uh, the display that shows all the warning signs check engine light temperature uh, high beam and all let's also just start this beauty and that's the exhaust note of the bsa gold star 650 now let's go ahead and give it the beans we have a great open stretch of road in front of us let's start from a lot of people is how bad is the heating from the large single cylinder machine this is a 650 cc engine as you know so it is expected to heat and what i would like to comment about the heating is that till the time that you are wearing proper riding gear a riding pant and a proper riding shoe then you should not actually experience heat that is concerning uh the other day when i was riding this motorcycle getting it from the showroom in delhi and riding towards greater noida i got stuck in kind of the rush hour traffic bumper to bumper traffic and it was not heating much if i have were to rate it uh, in terms of how much heat it produces on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being a liter class super bike then this is something around 3 so that should give you a perspective now if you are not used to riding those big super bikes then that heat that i felt as 3 out of 10 is something that you will feel as maybe 6 out of 10 but if you are riding in chappals and knickers and bermudas then god save you and your legs in the meantime let me just keep on having fun on this machine i think you can sense from my voice how exciting this machine is to ride we are at 120 right now almost the speed after which the vibes start kicking in and 120 is not a low speed guys if you have to judge a mood cycle it's very very entertaining on indian highways so from a usable power standpoint this machine really provides an exhilarating experience another question that i would like to answer is about the daily commuting capabilities on this machine and the city riding pedigree it offers for me the bsa gold star 650 is kind of the perfect machine to ride to office on i mean riding to office on a sports bike Uh, is something that i do not you know associate much with i actually want a motorcycle that is offering a very relaxed ride maneuverable at the same time gives a very plush feel and a classy feel when i ride the motorcycle along with that has a decent exhaust note and is entertaining to just get in and out of traffic do those mild zigzags that one has to do when you are in delhi traffic the bsa gold star 650 ticks all those criteria very well and is something that is very entertaining because there is loads of talk to get you out in any gear of any situation then open the throttle and you start enjoying how happy this machine feels and after all that even if you get stuck in traffic the heat management is also pretty good and finally the most important part when you park your motorcycle at office and just get off the machine and take a look back at it this looks like a beauty and that is one of the most satisfying feelings 
one can get when you ride your motorcycle to work kind of rids you of all the stress work stress life stress after you ride a motorcycle initial ride impressions of the BSA Gold Star 650 I just didn't want to go into the specs talk about the PHPs, the top figures and the technical aspects of the motorcycle I mean you can see all that stuff in the other reviews I just wanted to share this as a pure ride experience and I think you would now get an idea of what this machine is all about the only thing that I am concerned about if I were to invest on this machine is A, the reach of the service network which I think is not very bad it's quite okay because you know it's kind of managed by classic legends who will service the Javas and the Yezdis but the other part is how is the service experience so that is it for my first ride impression of the Gold Star 650 I hope you enjoyed the video. Ow, the suspension, if I have not mentioned, is a little stiff and that is something that you need to take care of. <laughs> a part of me is also responsible for making this feel a little stiff because I'm used to riding an adventure touring motorcycle which has the plushest of suspensions. So, from that standpoint, you need to be a little careful of the bumps. But yeah, I was ending the video and that is all I wanted to share. So I hope you enjoyed this ride and I will see you in the next Q&A style video that we'll post right after this one. Till then, have fun, ride safe and ta-da!